It's game six of the Western Conference semifinals. The Memphis Grizzlies have had a long, long journey and are on the cusp of achieving their dreams. With everything on the line, they could be crowned champions with one more victory. Only one obstacle remains as they go up against the Golden State Warriors. Round two of the NBA playoffs continue, coming right up. Game six of the Western Conference semifinals here. Welcome everyone to the NBA playoffs on 2K Sports. Our game tonight featuring the Golden State Warriors as they go up against the Memphis Grizzlies. This is Kevin Harlan along with Greg Anthony and Brett Berry. David Aldridge will be reporting from the sun. And as things get ready to... Thank you, Kevin. The Warriors are... And I love, David, how he is always hungry for wins in competition. Thank you. And it's the Warriors to start out. And the starting group for the Grizzlies. Adams at center with Jackson next to him. Then there's John Morant. Then of what Clay does so efficiently with that J. And he makes that one. John Just Durant. setting the tone with an aggressive move to the rack. And, and where's the help defensively? Yeah, APB sent out to try to find out where the defense is. Inexcusable. Back to Curry. Thompson passes to Curry. And the three off target. Just a, enough coverage to bother that three-point attempt. And there's the foul. It'll go on Jordan Poole. That is his first foul of the game. First team foul. On defense, the Warriors. Morant outside. Adams with the screen on green. Just five on the clock. Plays it up off the glass. And that is quickly becoming Jackson's domain. He is such a strong finisher in the paint. Green with a screen for Thompson. Pass to Wiseman. Curry outside. And no good that time. And it's Memphis the other way. Look to start a new streak after losing on Monday. When they ran the offense right, they found some easy shots. But on that occasion, it was few and far between. Yeah, lots of ups and downs. One good possession, two bad ones, one good one. You could never get on a steady run and play some solid offense. And that one's good, Morant. Morant's got his second bucket of the game to go. The contact can't trip Moran up. He just glides past it and into his shot. 16 feet away, and Adams sends it back. Here's Bain, guarded by Poole. Some nice passing there by Memphis. Here's Jackson, and the dunk by Jackson. Jackson Jr. And the flush from Jackson Jr. Great wingspan, and at 6'11", he's got a little nasty in him. Green with a screen on Morant. And Green with the basket on the assist by Curry. Well, that's excellent. Get the ball down deep inside and cash in on a simple basket. Morant outside. Here's Jackson. And that one hits back iron. Well, he's a guy that count on the produce from the mid-range. He doesn't miss too many open looks from there. Here's Curry. There we go. Now in the scoring column with that make, he is one for four. That's just like a free throw for Curry offensively. He just does everything so well. It's time. Different look here for the Warriors. Looney's check in for Wiseman. Kaminga comes in for Green. Otto Porter Jr. He's check in for Poole. And Gary Payton has subbed in for Thompson. All right, fans, that was your Warriors dance team. Jones with Looney on him. Jones, no luck. The Warriors have gone 50% for the field at this point, 4 of 8. Curry on the wing. 
Defended by Jones. 20 feet out. Curry gets the bucket. Curry's got his second basket of the night. Well, right now, Steph is just toying with the defense, and it feels like he is the puppeteer in this basketball game. The pass to Melton. He dishes it to Clark. Here's Jones. That shot, no good. Curry with the defensive effort. Warriors leading by three. To the left side wing. Kicks it to Porter. Peyton right side. Back to Porter. Grizzly is with the rebound. This shot's just, it's not there right now with his team leading. Perhaps, you know, let's focus on some other areas of the game. Jones looking for an opening. Down low, Clark, and then Clark slams it in. Quick off the floor and powerful. Clark loves to attack that rim. Right wing. Porter dishes to Kirk. Over Jones. Curry with another miss. This is a rough stretch right here for him offensively. Seems to be rushing shots. On the basket by Jones. We've seen the lead change hands quite a bit in this one. And guys, I think each team knows they can win this game. Just a matter who can catch that moment. Jones against Curry. Porter in the corner. Back to Payton. There's the pick. It's three outside. And the last second attempt does not go in for him. At the end of one, a closely contested game so far. Grizzlies lead by two. And the second quarter about to get started. We'll be back in just a moment. He's won at the highest levels, and Steph Curry... Stay in the moment and just focus on here and now. Um, we have to follow that kind of, you know, game plan. Um, stay in the moment, do what we do every single night, and go get it. Are you here to watch? Keeping your focus. And as much defensive attention as Curry commands on a nightly basis, we can't afford a lapse of focus. And we welcome you back to 2K Sports coverage of the Western Conference semifinals. And guys, let's get your take on the scoring breakdown so far for Memphis. Guys, right from the start, it's been apparent they're determined to establish a presence in the paint. I'm loving the ping-pong action of the ball tonight. A decent number of assists so far. And now let's check out the lineups courtesy of Gatorade. All fueled up and ready to go. Here's the second quarter of play. And Golden State looking at who they've got. Thompson and Iguodala make up the perimeter. Wiseman's out there with Nemanja Bialica. And it's Poole in at the point guard position. And of the last six baskets, five have come on the interior. This is just smash mouth physical basketball, guys. Brooks outside. Pass to Jackson. Back to Brooks. Morant outside. And a lot of contact on that one, so he'll shoot two here. Amazing to see someone go from unrecruited to potential MVP someday. That's been John ja Morant's trajectory. Green, he's checked in for James Wiseman. And Memphis also making a switch. Adams checked in. Warriors trail by six. They could use a big shot here to get this offense going. Too many empty possessions. Right now, they need a basket. Thompson for the triple. Up and in. Off to an efficient start. Two for three from the field. Well, for poster guys, it's usually dunks. But I, I wouldn't mind a Clay Thompson jump shot poster to look at on a nightly basis. And it's Morant missing. That's the only kind of defense that's going to cut the mustard here tonight. you got to stay on top of a guy like that who can play at such a high level offense. Really well done there. Just confident and composed. Never in a hurry. Morant surveying the D. Here's Bain. 
he's been patient so far. Nothing on the scoreboard yet. Jackson gets the bucket. Jaron Jackson Jr. And the Grizzlies lead by two. Again and again, they're dissecting the defense and creating those high percentage looks from inside. Here's Poole. Passes it to Green. And the rejection by Jackson. Poole finds Thompson. Goes back up. Whistle blows. Basket is good. So a chance here for a three-point play. Superb job by Clay to draw the contact for the end one opportunity. Great focus on the play. The Warriors shooting their first free throw attempt on the night. And the Warriors with some changes. Michael Inger comes in for Andre Iguodala. Let's see. Gary Payton has subbed in for Jordan Poole. Shooting one. And the free throw is good. Now leading by one. Just don't want to go back to it, but game six of the 2019 finals, Paul Thompson suffered that horrific ACL injury and that Achilles right before the 2021 season. So hoping for good health. Great to see him back on the floor. And the wide open shot from Green. No good with the triple. And here's Moran. He'll bring it up for Memphis. Looney's checked in for the Warriors. Then for the Grizzlies, Clark has checked in for Jaron Jackson. DeAnthony Melton comes in for Bain. And Jones subbed in for John Morant. And we're now a little over two and a half minutes into the second quarter. Pass to Jones. Brooks outside. From outside, off the mark. Golden State's gone 3-7 tonight from three-point territory. Shoots from the baseline. Will not go. This is off the front eye. The Grizzlies have gone 3-7 shooting the ball here in the second quarter. The pass to Jones. One fifty-one left now here in the second. Takes the 13-footer, and he hits the jump shot. Jones has got five points so far. And pro move there. Finds a way to gain some separation against the much taller defender. Yeah, I don't think he even sees a taller defender out there. Just a gifted scorer. And there's the call on Clay Thompson. That's his first foul. Porter's checked in for the Warriors. Curry comes in for Clay Thompson. Then for the Grizzlies. Tillman comes in for Adams. And it's Anderson in for Brooks. Closing in on four minutes played here in the second quarter. Clark, the pass to Anderson. Makes it off the glass. And there's a pattern starting to take shape here. They're working it inside and getting good shots from close range. Curry outside. That shot goes in. He now has three field goals and six misses today. This is why Steph Curry is virtually unguardable. When he's sinking those kind of shots, it just devastates you defensively. Kicks it out to Jones. And foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance at the line. Kyle Anderson getting physical with the defense that time. That helps him draw the contact. And he's got his first free throw of the game. He's off on the first. And the Warriors making a change here. Weissman's checked in. No good on the second free throw. Yeah, nice job of drawing the contact and creating opportunities at the line. Here's Peyton. The rebound by Anderson. I'm not going to see that very often. The defense in the vicinity, but still, he's not one to blow layups. There's a good screen from outside the arc. And Curry pulls it down. Warriors have gone 4-10 in the second quarter from the field. For three. That shot off the mark. And there's the call on Curry. That's his first foul of the game, and the bonus will go to the free throw line. This is his second trip to the free throw line, and the first one goes. Tough to match up with Kyle Anderson because of how quirky he plays. Changing speeds, plays slow, but sees the floor remarkably well. It's Curry with the drive, and the shot is good. Curry's got five points now in the quarter. A 
Yeah, that play never gets old. The pick and roll will still be an offensive staple 100 years from now. And a close game so far through the first two quarters as we Thanks, Kevin. Alongside Steve Kerr and Coach, what is the offensive approach going to be in the second half? Well, we just have to do what we do, move the ball um, and wear them down with our ball movement, our cutting, and our spacing, and set better screens, all the, all the usual stuff. Yeah, it always seems to work out for you in the long run. Thanks, Steve. Back to you, Kevin. All right, thank you, David. And folks, don't go away. After the break, we'll see you right back here for the start of quarter number three. Hey, folks, game six looks like a nail biter for the Memphis Grizzlies. The bench unit was an essential part of the puzzle in the first half. They really stepped it up in a big way, and that helped out. And now the starters can appreciate not having to carry the load on their own. Looking at the series breakdown for the Warriors. The situation doesn't get any more desperate than this. Without a win in game six, Shaq, the season's over. Yeah, all right, but they're not thinking about that. It's all about this one game. Getting one more win to keep the series going. Do not think about tomorrow or it's barbecue chicken time. Well, I'll tell you what, their fans are going to be fired up. So, you know what? If they win, that energy can take them right into game seven. Oh, I can't wait. All right, guys, time for us to send it courtside for the second half. Back. Good to have you with us for 2K Sports coverage of Game 6. Clay Thompson has been sensational. Well, we'll find out if they were able to find an, an answer for him over the break. He was scoring with ease in that first half. Yeah, just way too easy out there, and I'm sure Coach is going to make that a priority at halftime. So on the floor for Memphis, Adams at center with Jackson next to him. Then there's Dylan Brooks. Then Jeremy it's Morant, and it's Bain in Three at the two-guard spot. Oh, quick thinking from Jackson. When he's rising and firing fast, you know he's in the zone. Outside curve. Thompson against Brooks. Stolen by Brooks. Here's Bain. Nothing yet on the scoreboard for him. Poole with the steal. Bobbed up there for Green. That one's not going to go. And what should have been a simple pass and finish ends up in a missed opportunity on that alley-oop attempt. And you like to keep things a little more simple, and that was a play that didn't quite develop the way they wanted it. Jackson misses. Warriors trail by five. Wiseman sets a screen for Thompson. And finished up by Wiseman. And good job working that play and getting into his shooting position. Wiseman pays that one off. Here's Adams, and Adams with the slam. Yeah, I mean, maybe could have tried for a more memorable dunk than that one. And we know he's capable of those memorable ones. Look who's coming out out of the court. Get up on 90 seconds now into the second half. Curry passes to Wiseman. He can't get it to go. Adam, some nice D. Takes it inside. Bain with the bucket. And it's a seven-point Grizzly lead. All the way to the bucket. No resistance. Just swipe the candy from it. Up top, Curry. Adams defending. From 18 feet away, and foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. Watching Curry is an education on how to take advantage of whatever the defense is throwing your way. The Warriors shooting their second and third free throws tonight. Kevon Looney is checked in for Wiseman. And that's the norm for him. He's pretty much automatic when he's at the line. It's Morant with the drop. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. That's his second. They get Stephen Curry. And the explosiveness on the drive. Morant just attacks the D with aggression. 
Wow. Would he have something in his eye on that shot? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. Warriors trail by six. There's the pick. Curry passes to Looney. They kick it out to Green. Curry way outside. Cool with it. Defended by Adams. Cool, no good. And, the, and they're controlling the boards, Kevin. That's plus five in that category. Feeds it to Moran. Dishes it to Jackson. Memphis moving that ball around. Back to Brooks. Pocket four. Over Thompson. The Grizzlies with another miss. Golden State's gotten fewer than half of their three-pointers to go down tonight. They're four for nine. To the inside. Stolen by Brooks. Two minutes remaining in the third. Pass to Bain. Two minutes. There's 154 left in the third quarter of the game. And a missed late. To the paint. Here's Green. That's in. Coming off the assist from Thompson. Green's got his second bucket of the night. That's just a good look to play as his teammate was open. Now a timeout called by Memphis. Look who's coming out onto the court. Different look here for the Warriors. Ayelitsa, who's checked in for Looney. Kaminga comes in for Tremont Green. Porter's checked in for Poole. And it's Peyton in for Thompson. Third quarter of basketball here in just a little under three and a half minutes gone by. Now Anderson. Driving the lane. It's rebounded by Kaminga. Warriors trail by four. Porter finds Curry. Back to Porter. To the middle. Outside for Curry. Shot clock at six. Golden State needs to get off a shot. The Elite misses. And the Grizzlies leading by four. It's Jones on the wing. Guarded by Porter. The Grizzlies with another miss. The Warriors have gone two of six from the field here in the third. Curry gets the bucket. I like it when Stephen Curry gets to the inside and goes up strong. Just wants to convert from there and he gets the chance. Melton feeling it out a bit. And there's in a screen on Pete. Here's Melton. Nice D from Porter. And it's Porter with the ball for the Warriors. Trailing by two. One second separating the shot clock in game three. And Curry, here we go. That ties it up. Curry's got six in the quarter. They should continue to get the ball inside. The defense struggling to contain them. Jones kicks to Melton. Clark for three. Beat the clock. Count it. He got it. That's how you do it. Stay patient. Wait for the opportunity. And boom. That's exactly how you want to close out the quarter, too, with some confidence. It's still anybody's game as we reach the end of three. Grizzlies lead by three. And coming up as soon as we return from break, the fourth quarter gets underway. And a moment ago inside the huddle with head coach Steve Kerr. Keep everything sharp. Keep the cuts hard. Cutting through contact. Pass is sharp. And the ball's going to fall for us. We can't give up the easy ones down here, right? I can tell that he wants his team to be precise with their decision making. Kevin, he's aware of just how special they are when they play smart and play together. We've reached the fourth quarter, and what has been a very competitive game should be an exciting finish. At the guard spot, it's Curry and Thompson. 
Looney out there with Weissman now. And it's Kaminga in at the small forward position. So that's the group out there for Golden State. Pools checked in for Golden State. Grizzlies also changing it up. Steven Adams, he's checked in for Kyle Anderson. And Brooks subbed in for DeAnthony Mel. And the basket by Jackson here. And how about the strength of Jackson there? Uses it whenever he's going up inside and fighting through the contact. Memphis leading by five. Brooks, the pass to Jackson. Can't connect from short range. Golden State's gotten fewer than half of their three-pointers to go down tonight. They're four for nine. Pass to Poole. Here's the screen. Inside. And he caught that pass in full stride on his way to the big slam. And Looney's a guy you can rely on on both ends of the floor. Fourth quarter just getting started. One minute in the books. Here's Morant. Out of bounds, Golden State takes possession. Looked like a simple play and turned into a turnover. You can't give away possessions like that. The Warriors making a switch here. Green's checked in. Warriors trail by three. Cool with it to the inside. Heisman and the call on the shot. He sends him to the line. That's his second first. Weisman, the number two pick in the 2020 draft, and just looking to develop overall his fundamentals. Remember, he played so few games in college, so a long way to go for him to find that comfortability, but we know it. The talent is there. For Memphis, they've gone one of three from the field to start the fourth quarter. Here's Morant, and no good. So Golden State will take it the other way. Poole, the pass to Thompson. To pool to the middle, stolen by Jackson. Brooks outside, driving in the rim rattling two handed chance. And the quickness of Brooks's drive can be overwhelming. Burst inside before the D can react. Back to Thompson. Green with a screen on Morant. Here's Thompson. Perfect on the shot. Swishes it through. And that is a potential game changer. Thompson maintaining his calm and coming through. Now a timeout called by Memphis. Well, whether things are good, bad, or indifferent, coaches will have adjustments to make throughout the course of the game. They're not just there to pump up or to discipline players. you got to make sure that the coach makes the proper adjustments and has his team in the right mindset to carry it out. Curry's checked in for coming. Let's go now to the sideline and catch up with David Aldridge. Hey, Kevin. Well, Taylor Jenkins just reviewed his plan with his team. He put it on them. He said, guys, we've got a chance to win this one. When you've got a chance to close this team out, you can't let it go to waste. We'll see if they can seize the moment, Kevin. Thanks, David. Green dishes to Curry. That's the pool. Outside Curry. Poole kicks to Curry. Down to five on the shot clock. Down low. Morantz with the steal. And now Brooks running the floor all by himself. A solid defender. Morant adept at reading the opposition and realizing when to go for the steal. Thompson passes to Green. Into the lane. Going to the rack with energy. Be afraid to cut him off. Yeah, got to chalk that one up to some shaky defending. There's some ways to get your coach's attention, and that draws the coaching staff's ire. Again, Memphis. And it just seems like Moran is always ready to outwork the defense. A big effort pays off for him there inside. Curry kicks to Thompson. One forty-nine left in the game. Shot from the top of the key. And it's out of bounds. The Warriors able to retain the possession here. Jones checked in for Memphis. Checking in for the Grizzlies. Tyus Jones. Grizzlies on defense. It's a five-point game. Thompson misses. Well, that's the only way to take him out of his comfort zone from that range. Get right up in the jersey. Force him off the spot. Jackson looking around. Here's Bain, guarded by Kirk. Jackson, a screen on Kirk. Bain, the Warriors pull it in. 
We've got 113 left in the fourth quarter. Green inside, working on Jones, and Green gets it to go. That's a tough one there from Draymond Green. It's tough as they come. Jones against Kirk. You can make it so much easier for your teammate when you throw that lead pass that gets to him right on the money, whether that's on the run or in the shooting pocket. It's good! What a beautiful shot to put him within three. It's not talked about a lot, but Steph is fast. So whether he's firing or passing, the defense is pretty much on their heels, especially in the screen and roll. Jones in the post, guarded by Kirk. Jones, the best of Jackson. It falls! And that's just cold-blooded right there. He's taking no prisoners. Confidence is sensational, and it feels like no one is going to stop him tonight from scoring. Just one second between the shot clock and game clock, and Draymond Green picks up the foul. That's his first foul. foul. Second team foul. Timeout, Grizzlies. Ladies and gentlemen, your Warriors big team. There's 21 seconds left here in the fourth quarter. Warriors foul. Clay Thompson. That's his second person foul. He hits the first one, and that increases their lead to six. And a tough break is his second attempt at the line. No good. Ladies and gentlemen, your Warriors dance team. We've got 13 seconds left in the fourth. And Curry has it in the corner. No good on the three. And there's the foul. It will go on Jordan Poole. So that will be his second foul of the game. We're in the bonus. We'll go to the line to shoot two. He drops the first one, and that makes it a seven-point lead. And there's a flexibility to Brooks's game. He can play a specific role for you, or he can be a high-usage guy. It really depends on what a team needs from night to night. And here's Poole for three. Nails the trade! Good anticipation there from Iguodala, who is a very good passer. And that one goes out of bounds. Nice touch by Porter. Memphis basketball. Grizzly sub. And so the Memphis Grizzlies have won the series. Of four games to two victory for them in the we second like round. And now, now, they find themselves just four wins away from a spot, Craig, in the NBA Finals. And it won't be easy. Conference Finals never are. I'm sure they're confident right now coming off of this huge win, but Kevin, they've still got a lot of work to do before they put their hands on any trophy. And now let's catch up with David Aldridge, who's standing by from the sideline. All right, Dave. Thanks very much, Ja. A lot of swag on this team tonight. Who's responsible for that confidence? I feel like we all talk to each other, even the coaching staff. Coach let us play with a lot of freedom. Everybody have the green light. So, I mean, there's no, no reason to lack confidence when you have a coach who believes in you um, every step of the way and just lets you go out there and play your game. So, uh, we always just preach, you know, keep shooting, make or miss, and we're behind you, so. You all look like a confident bunch, man. Congrats on the win. Back to you. Thank you, David. Great interview once again. It's time for us to say goodbye. We hope you've enjoyed our second round coverage of the NBA Western Conference playoffs. For Brett Berry, Greg Anthony, and David Aldridge, this is Kevin Harlan along with our 2K Sports crew. As New Balance presents our player of the game, Jaron Jackson. <laughs>